So today we're going to be comparing old Kyle Army, the original Kyle Army circuit, with its modern day equivalent. That's the old track above in grey, the outline, and the new track below in red. You can see there is part of the track that still overlaps, but it's probably just under half. To do our comparison, we're going to be driving the RSS Formula Hybrid 2023 with a Ferrari skin. It's a personal favourite of mine. The links for all the mods, the track mods and the car mod, will be in the description below the video. So if you're interested in getting them, um, please do so. There, it's a great mod and they are really great tracks. We'd like to support the, the people who develop these. So you can see in the old track how little development there is around. There's lots of open spaces, green pastures. Uh, the area was very open. That's changed a lot in the past 60 years. So we're winding up now to start onto the back straight. We're coming up to the kink, which is taken flat out onto the start finish straight, past the pits. You can see the pit lane was a lot more basic back then. Flat out all the way down the hill into Crowthorn Corner. Through Crowthorn we're going to go through Barbecue Bend and then left into the YXK Sweep. This is now where the track is, the modern track carries on. Through Sunset, so named because the sun is in your eyes in the late afternoon. Brett takes you around Clubhouse Bend. Through Clubhouse you go into the S's. Then back up the hill towards Newcomb named after Leocorp Prison, which is behind that. And that is the final corner of the lap, which brings us back onto the straight and towards the kick. So a lap of old Kalami in this car is just under a minute, uh, normally around about 58, 59 seconds, depending how tidy you are. See, I've labeled the corners we've been through there on the uh, the old map. The new map is very similar where part of it is the same, however some of the corners have the same names but are in different places, uh, a couple of the corners are switched around, a couple of the corners are just in completely different places. So let's get into that now, let's have a look at a lap of new Kyle Army. We come onto the start finish straight which is now in a completely different place over the start line. This track now through the kink, which is a different kink, not the same as the other, into Crowthorn. So the first two corners have the same names, but they are in different places. Then we have the Yixke Sweep and Barbecue, which are the two corner names that are swapped around. Barbecue is a lot tighter than it used to be. We're now onto the same section of track that is the old track, coming up into Sunset see how much more development there is around there now into Clubhouse, so these are the same. After Clubhouse again, we have the S's. So this all is still exactly the same as it was. Up the hill towards Newcorp, now it's going to be different where Newcorp is now a tight hairpin, so we're going the opposite way now. Down the hill, down the mine shaft, flat out down the mine shaft. It's an awesome section of this. All the way through to the crocodiles. Tricky corner to get right, but there's a lot of time if you do. Through Cheetah and into Ingwe, which means Leopard. And then back onto the start finish straight. That is a lap of New Carlisle normally takes around about a minute 20, sometimes just under, so it's about 22 seconds slower than uh, what the old track was. It's also, this track's about 400 meters longer. Now we have a side-by-side -side view of the section of track. It's the old track on the left, the new track on the right. You can see, although the scenery is different, the road is very similar. 
tried to match them up as close as I could, very similar lines through there. And then again up the hill towards Newcorp is where things start to diverge. So you can see I've labeled the new circuit in red. It does get a little bit confusing because the barbecue and Yixke sweep bends are slightly different and the names are also switched around. You've also got the kink and crowthorn which are in two completely different places. So it gets a little bit confusing when you, you look at it like that. Also the old circuit was clockwise whereas the new circuit runs anti-clockwise. So this is now an overlay of the old track and the new one on top of the other so you can get a very good feel for just how similar this section of road is. It's nice that they were able to at least preserve this piece of history. The old Khan army of course is gone forever because part of it is now a housing estate, part of it is an industrial estate so they will never be able to rebuild it how it was. Now again, let's have a look in slow motion. You can see how very, very similar the overlay is. Right on top of each other. If you squint, you can see one. If you squint, you can see the other. sunset into the S's and up the hill towards the Ucom. So thanks again for joining us on this dive through history. I've always wondered exactly what the differences between the track were. I think this has been a very good comparison of that. If you have any thoughts or memories that you'd like to share of old Kyle Army or new Kyle Army, please leave a comment below. Also like and share and please subscribe to our channel. It's a small click for you but to us it means a lot. I'm fortunate in that I've been able to drive New Kyle Army in real life and I can tell you that it's exactly the same as it is in the game. And uh, it's a little bit sad that this is the only way I'll get to drive Old Kyle Army, but it's nice that I've been able to experience it like this. And I hope you've enjoyed experiencing it with me. If you have any thoughts or questions or comments, please go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. more and more content out like this. Uh, I hope it's been informative. If you spotted something you don't agree with, please leave a comment below. And until next time, I hope you have clean laps, fast laptops.